Hello everyone, this is Dar here with another pickups video dated the 6th of May 2012. Um, you can see it's not a whole lot this month now, and um, it didn't really get a whole lot of stuff now, because as I say, April was pretty, pretty, like, you know, quiet month in terms of big releases and all that there as well, and like, I didn't really get a whole lot of, you know, other stuff though, because it's only been like a month, over, just over a month since my last pickups video anyway. Now, the first two games, I think, I actually already got, I don't think I actually showed in previous videos, because one of them actually did get back in February, and I don't actually think I showed it in my last video day, because I was glancing through it now, and I think I got this one not too long, like, maybe sometime during, like, before the last pickups video as well, I just can't remember, I forget, though, so, apologies if I showed this already, though, it's Divinity 2, The Dragon Knight Saga, I think I might have already shown this, I don't know. Let me know if it did. Um, it's £10. I actually already have this for the PC. So I do. But I just got it in 360 because I'm stupid like that. So yeah, um, even though I already have a game already on the another format, I always just get on like the 360 because it's just the you know, most convenient. Um, didn't play much of it though. Played maybe about 20 minutes or so. It's alright. Not supposed to be like a great RPG though, but uh, it's only ten pound. Um, I don't think I did show this though. Apologies if I did. Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. I actually did get this back in February though. I don't think I actually showed it in the last video because I just locked over it there before I did this one. And it's, of course, it's the HD versions of Metal Gear Solid Two, Sons of Liberty, Metal Gear Solid Three, Snake Eater, and Metal Gear Solid Peace Walk, which was a PSP game that was released a few months. Uh, not a few months, a few years back. Um, so then I played some of them too, which is still a pretty good game, although the cutscenes go way too long for the most part. So they do. And I played some of uh, Peace Walk, which I never played before. I just played on the 3 6. This is the first time I played that game. I played a bit of co op with um, a guy here, Mike, a bit wire MC Avenged on YouTube. Um, but that's like over a couple of months ago now since I've done that though. But it's, it's they're pretty pretty good pretty good games nonetheless. Never picked play three yet here on here though. But I played it like on the PlayStation Two for a bit though. I actually never finished three. Uh, but I actually did watch the whole existence disc. You know, like was came with a subsistence, which is basically a three hour like movie for movie version of the game. It's like cut with the cutscenes and like sort of like gameplay stuff and that there pretty much. I, that's pretty much what I watched, um, so I kind of know what happens in that game anyway, but I should play it though because I heard great things about it nonetheless. So yeah, that's all I know from that, I know like, I got before though, but these are all stuff I got this month now. And let's start off with retro stuff. Um, Super Mario Man 2. Um, I actually did have this game, and I think I might have given this to someone like years ago, like more of my red has never just got it back though. And I decided to get it up because I actually have been playing old retro stuff there last week, which was my birthday. Um so it was um, the 29th. And I decided to start playing my SNES again. I just just really did enjoy it though. I just wanted to try, try to get more retro games again though, because it's been a while since I got like retro stuff, you know. I think before you know it's Dreamcaster, like you know N64, PlayStation, SNES, Mega Drive and that, Master System and that. I actually do have another game, it's called um, so we'll see, but I'll show you it in the next pickups video though, because it'll probably come maybe tomorrow or sometime this week anyway. But Super Mario Man 2, like classic um, Super Nintendo game, I absolutely love it. I've got the first one, and I think the third one is one of the rarest, it's like the rarest one to get though, it's, you could, it's like, you know, twenty thirty pound you could get on maybe for a cartridge show, but if you wanted like complete a show, much more. But I'm not one of those like diehard collectors that has to have everything in the box though. I know it's like more worth more and things like that, but I just not into that whole collected thing like some people are. Apologies, I have a cold, so if I sound weird then it's because I have a cold at the moment. Um Mark Echo getting up Mark Echo's getting up contents under pressure. Um, two pound. I've never played this game before though. Um, I've always wanted to try it out though because I've heard it's a it's a pretty good game. It's been it was released back in I think two thousand and five. So it was, um, it's like one of those like it's like this game you go around like, put graffiti on things and that there though. I think maybe a bit parkour. I think I don't know. I I don't really know. But I heard it's a it's a pretty 
good game though, and for two pound, it's worth picking up. Thirteen. Um, I actually had this. I actually had this. So I think I had it for the Xbox. So it did, but then I traded it back in though. Um, but like I think I rented it out first or so on the PlayStation Two or like the. So I did, and then just got on the Xbox, but then just traded it back in. But decided to get it back again there for one pound. Um, could have gotten the three six the Xbox version though, but I actually don't know if it was actually if it's actually backwards compatible now. I could have just gotten it though because I prefer the Xbox controller though because if it was backwards compatible, I just could have used the Xbox three sixty then, just because it's just a bit better. But uh, uh, it doesn't really matter anyway. Um, I actually did enjoy this game though. I just decided to get again, but I never finished it though. But um, I didn't get the greatest reviews though. Um, so it didn't. I think it probably got pretty much mixed reviews overall though. But like I do like the whole cell shit, like comic style, comic book style look of it though. So it so it is, and it does have like some sort of little thing for the iOS devices. So it does like sort of some sort of spin off, follow up thing of it anyway. But it's it's um good anyway. Rhythm Thief and the Emperor's Treasure, another Nintendo 3DS game. Um, I actually just got this there last week. There, not too like last week. Um, so I did because I actually it's been out like here since April anyway, since last April. Um, so it has been. Um, the US hasn't got it yet though. They're not getting it till July for some reason. It's been delayed there. I think they were supposed to get it shortly before us, but then it was delayed. So they're not getting it now until July. So they're not. Um, I actually just downloaded the demo for it, so I did. And then I tried the demo out, and I pretty much played the demo and sold me, and I just went to get the game. Went, was going downtown and just got the game there later that day then. And it is a very enjoyable game, though. To me, it's basically a mixture of, say, it's kind of like... Professor Layton with um, Elite Beat Agents and... Um, Rhythm Heaven, pretty much, because it's kind of a mixture of them now, in a way. Maybe a bit more Rhythm Heaven and Professional Layton, because you go around these different areas, and you get these, collect these different pieces, like you get these medals now, and um, they're a hidden thread each like area, but you can talk to people, and sometimes you do these extra ones and things like that now. Basically, it's like Rhythm mini games basically act like, you know, like puzzles, and, you know, Professional Layton now. There's these different sort of rave puzzles where you have to, you know, sometimes you have to sneak past these guards and you have to hit the rhythm time, tap the right one in time, hit behind these, you know, statues or things like that now, which is pretty cool indeed. It's a very enjoyable game, though. I'd recommend getting it when it comes out in the States or if you're in the UK, definitely get it now. It's a pretty, pretty cool game indeed. I very much got it with my birthday money, though, so it did, um, with some of my birthday money. Um, the Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings Enhanced Edition. Um, I got, I said, I got this for the Xbox 360, and it's a pretty cool edition though, because it comes with the like the Quest Handbook. I believe it comes like with a, it comes with like a CD, like a, I think it's a DVD or soundtrack or something. Anyway, though, so it's it has some of the content you got, we got with the um, PC version though. So it did, just not a whole lot more though. But it's I, I played a bit of it anyway. It's still pretty good game like of course the 360 version not gonna look anywhere near as good as the pc version though but uh, even if it does not doesn't look anywhere good as it it still looks pretty damn good in my opinion though it still looks a really good game though really cool flow and action though just really good voice act it's really it doesn't really just looks a really good looking game though at the end of the day and i probably will stick go to this here sometime in the future though but i kind of don't want to play it too much at the moment though because again you get a bit burned out with RPGs um, since I've been playing a few of them over the last few months so and sort of try to play through Xenoblade Chronicles for Jackman's Challenge over in Pete's Game Room 4 which I think I'm going to be a rascal because I just don't have the desire to play through it now I'm um, just getting burned out with that game it's just too many fucking side quests quite frankly but this is a good game though nonetheless and I heard great things about it it's definitely one of the best games out last year for the PC and um, it's basically it's been good it's 
getting good reviews this version of the game anyway. So, uh, Pador's Tower, which is sort of like the last of the Operation Rainfall trilogy, if you want to say that. Uh, this game still hasn't got a uh, still hasn't got a like a release date. Still hasn't been confirmed for release in North America. Uh, Blade Chronicles was released last month. Uh, and the last story is coming in the summer time. Uh, but we got this here. I got the limited edition. This is why it's kind of black though. Because um, it's like a part of the limited edition one. I do like the black casing though. It's pretty cool. So it does. Even though like the sort of stupid white tax. Plain bloody tax like you get with all the, all our Wii games pretty much. Well for the most part anyway. Well most of the first party stuff. It's pretty much just that there with some of the third party stuff has the proper, you know, the proper logo for the game. And I played like a, I played a bit of some of it though. And it's a pretty good game though. It's just pretty much reminds me of um, the 3D Castlevania games. So it does. Um, because you have this like kind of like um, chain so you do and you like grab the ball to enemies and you rip out like their mat, their flesh and... It helps you defeat like bosses as well because you have to use it to rip out their master flesh and help their your sort of girl Alita um lift this curse she has and pretty much that's what the gist of the story is you have to go through these different towers and get the master flesh from each of these bosses at each of the towers and then come back and give her the master flesh she has to eat or, or else she'll become this like grotesque monster then and help her like lift this curse pretty much um that's pretty much what the story is basically all about, though. It's a pretty good game, though. I'll probably, like, you know, go back to it, though, in the future, though, because I enjoy what I thought of playing it anyway. It's, it, it's been getting good feedback, though. Some people say it's pretty good, though, so I don't think a lot, but I think it's probably, in terms of some, most people, probably be, like, the weakest one, though, but, yeah, but I enjoy it for what it's worth at the moment. Uh, Devil May Cry HD Collection. I just decided to pick this up though in a web though. I just decided to get up. It was only like twenty odd pound. It was like twenty twenty pound or so, twenty one pound or something like that. I think I might have put this kind of this I forget. It's of course the first three Devil May Cry games in HD. I actually played through the first one again and finished it. And I still really love the first one though. It's actually the only one I still ever only finished though. I have like I have all the I have the first three on this and on the PS2 and I've Devil May Cry 4 on the Xbox 360 but yet the first one is the only one I've ever still finished though um, at the end of the day. I still really love that game, still really enjoy it. It's still one of my favourite PS2 games and the HD version, it's, it's still good. It's, like, it's not really like gorgeous looking now, it's, re it's not really big, huge difference there, I guess but yeah, it is a bit of a difference so anyway but Still, it still plays great though. I still really enjoy it, and um, I know the third one. A lot of people love it though as well. But uh, maybe I should try and play through it again. Try to finish it though, because I got to a certain mission in the PS2 version, and just got stuck then. And the second one, I know a lot of people are not really fussing it though, which I think that it's okay. It's not the best one, but it's pretty decent. But it's it was pretty cheap though anyway, so I might as well got it. And finally, Bind in the Remain, which is pretty much one of those sort of cult classics, like one of those sleeper hits, though, because a lot of people on my Twitter and elsewhere are pretty much raving about this game. It's just one of those games that came out of nowhere, though, um, and sort of got a lot of people really in the gaming community really enjoyed it, though. And I played the demo, I thought it was pretty good, though, but then it sort of hurt the feedback when a lot of people said, oh, this is a great game, you should pick it up, and decided to pick it up then. Um, after my friend Daz on the podcast, the end of the podcast, um, I was talking about it. Decided to get it up, that pick it up then, and I actually got it for thirteen pound. Um, after uh, it was like sixteen pound or so, but then like these these points of the signing go to, and um, just discount then, and then I just bought it then. I played for the first two chapters, of it, and it is a really enjoyable game though. It uses this voice command. So it does, which pretty much works like, you know, about 50, 60% of the time. Um, basically, you could order these attacks. Like, sometimes they, if you're dying, they, do you want help or something? You could say, like, yeah, or whatever. And, like, they come over and help you. You give them orders or something. And sometimes they say something. Do you, do you agree with me? And then you basically have a list of these um, commands that you could choose from then. 
and said pretty much and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Um, but still, it's a good game. It's pretty much like a Gears of War. It's a sort of a Japanese style Gears of War though. It does remind me of that though. It reminds me a bit of Vanquish as well, just except Vanquish is a bit more, you know, over the top kind of stylistic. Um, what you come to expect from Platinum Games though. But it's still a great game. It's it's made by the same team. Same guys who do the y- Yakuza series. So maybe this will give me the fucking um, the push now. Play through this. Give me the bloody push now to actually start that series. Because I've just heard so many great things about that series. But just never actually. I like I played through a bit of the first one. Some of the first one. And a bit of the third one. But like. I don't know why I haven't started though. Maybe I should though sometime in the future. And that's pretty much all folks. Um, I think I got a few digital stuff. I got like Fable Heroes. And I got like Legacy of Cade Soul Raver. On the GOG. Like good old games. I got Fable, I said, Fable Heroes. Which is alright. Decent enough. Um, but I said not a really whole lot now. I still talked for a good bit anyway. But as I said. It's a bit, it's a pretty it's just been a pretty quiet month. Uh, but I have I'll have a few fair few new releases though in this month though, because I have a few coming my way pre ordered already though, so looking forward to them. So anyway guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, podcast video and until then take care and see you all next time. Ciao.